This is a meditation on learning to look for and see and hear the Holy Spirit everywhere you go, in everyone you meet, in every situation, and to receive the miraculous benefits of its light in our lives. All it requires is your willingness. Now closing your eyes if you like, relaxing inside, dropping deep, deep inside yourself, breathing gently, relaxing, relaxing. You are walking down a mountain path. It is a dirt path gently sloping down. There are grass and rocks and trees and bushes on either side. The path is illuminated by sunlight. You feel happy here, close to the earth, warm and safe with a friendly breeze touching your face. You note the beautiful sloping green pastures, the magical blue warm sky above, the crystal clearness of the day. Soon you come further on down this gently sloping path to an area where a few fir trees are growing. They are dark green shading the path ever so slightly. As you approach this cluster of trees, you see what looks to be an owl sitting in the branches. You stop and turn, looking into the eyes of this magnificent and large bird. Its feathers are white and brown and black, its eyes glowing yellow and black in the shade of the tree branches. It is staring right at you, and you feel almost as though it's looking right through you. You take in its considerable size, and you notice how you can feel its wisdom, its ability to see through appearances. This feeling is so strong that you are not even surprised when the owl itself begins to communicate to you. It seems this owl can simply share its thoughts with you. And so it does. I am your guide to seeing beyond appearances. You understand the owl to say. We are going on a journey, a journey past illusion, past the stories you have told yourself, past the beliefs you have about your relationships, and to the place where love joins us all. You don't need to know how this is to be accomplished. All you need to do is be a little bit willing. Are you ready? You look into your own heart and you consider whether you're willing to take this step. It seems kind of cool and wonderful to have an owl as a guide. And you know they are very wise you suddenly feel quite ready and willing to experience something new. You nod to the owl, signaling your readiness to go. The owl lifts its wings wide and lifts gently off the branch it's been sitting on and easily ascends in the air. Its wings are spreading so wide, so wide, 
it is remarkable. It flies in a sort of suspended, slow motion down the path, which is now moving through a gently sloping meadow. And you feel that your step is lighter and quickening as you follow it. You notice you're feeling a lightness of heart, a freedom, a hope that you hadn't felt before. As you move gently, easily, and so, so lightly down the path, through the mountain meadow, you notice that the owl is heading to a broader, flatter area, and that the path is leading once again into a copse of trees. The trees are getting more and more numerous as you descend further, and soon the path is darkening a bit as it winds through them. The leaves are gently shading you, rustling ever so quietly overhead, as if in welcome to you. And soon you find yourself coming into a sunlit glade with trees lining its edges in a perfect large circle. And somehow you know that this place was made for you. This place is here, welcoming you. It's been waiting for you. At the center of this glade is a circle paved with beautiful, flat, perfectly placed stones. The owl flies directly to the center of the circle and alights in the exact middle of it. And sitting here, on either side of the owl, in the center of the stone circle, as if they are waiting for you as well, are two people in your life. One is a person much beloved by you. This one is easy to love, and you see their light willingly, effortlessly, easily. The other is a person with whom you've experienced discord of some kind. This one has been hard to appreciate. There have been difficulties. You have not always been happy with them, or perhaps they have not always been happy with you. The owl looks at you with its searingly deep, clear eyes. As you look in its eyes, a light of love and warmth radiates from them. It is so loving. Your heart is lighting up. It is softening. Like the owl is seeing the beautiful, innocent child that you are underneath it all. The light grows bigger and bigger. And you breathe more and more freely. And little by little, the owl begins to change form and merge into this all-encompassing light. The light communicates to you to come and stand before the person you love. As you look into their eyes, you see a light, the light of happiness, of togetherness, of humor, of delight in your connection, of the warmth of love, of enormous appreciation of one another. Look now, look further. This light grows in intensity. As you look and look, 
at this beloved person and they smile back at you, full of appreciation for all you are and all you have been to them. You feel how good this feels, how wonderful, how safe and happy. You are feeling so safe and happy. It is so wonderful to be together in this way. You see a light in their heart begin to shimmer and you watch as it grows and grows. You notice that your own heart is shimmering too with the light of love and togetherness love and happiness and full appreciation for this beautiful person. The owl's light encompasses both of you and keeps expanding beyond the three of you. You understand the statement, for where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. The Holy Spirit is with you. For the light is growing exponentially now. And its warmth and its tenderness are growing along with it. You now understand that it is time to turn to the other person there who has been sitting and watching you. They have been waiting patiently. The light has reached to where they are sitting also. As you look at them, you can feel a remnant of the discord that once entered your being around the thought of them. You can feel acutely how you do not like this and how you do not want to live this way. As you continue to look at them, you can feel clearly exactly how you've been thinking and feeling about this person. The light says to you, God gave you the people and the creatures in your life, all of them not as burdens, but as his gifts. As you take this in, the light continues. It is time to forget your stories and interpretations and conclusions about this person. It is time to look for the light of God in them. It is time to look. If you look, you will truly see. You look at this person and you struggle a little bit with old thoughts and feelings to which the light says, you can look away or you can look toward what you're afraid of and beyond it. Look for the sanity within this person Look for their wholeness, for it is your own. You take a deep breath and you can feel a tiny place of willingness in yourself to see, to experience something new arise in your heart. You find yourself letting go of the idea that you understand everything there is to know about this person. That you even understand how it is you came to experience discord with them. You realize you don't know anything really. That it is safe and good to let go of the story. You keep looking at this person and you start to notice a little bit of golden light around their head. The person starts to relax a little bit. 
and you notice you're feeling grateful for that little bit of light you are seeing in them, around them. You look in their eyes and you tell yourself and them, I will to see your light. I will to see your sanity. I will to see your wholeness. You suddenly feel a little burst of gratitude from the person toward you for what you're doing, what you're offering, what you're giving. A possibility of light, a possibility of relief, a little opening. Thank you. A new way. Thank you. And you feel gratitude for yourself for extending this gift of openness, willingness, and light. You notice that a tiny little light is starting to shine in this person's heart. And you see it begin to shimmer and expand. It grows gently but surely and joins with yours, with a larger light who is your guide, and with the person you love who's sitting there with you all. There is such a luminous, warm glow of gold and white light around you all and among you, coming from within, shining on you from without as well. You realize you don't need to understand anything except this. You all, all of you, will to be happy. In this beautiful will to be happy, you are joined together. And you ask yourself, what part can I play? What can I do? to add to the happiness of all of us here. And you know that your willingness to see light, your willingness to see wholeness in everybody and everything, wherever you may go, is the biggest gift you can ever give. It is also the biggest gift you can ever receive. You can see now that the giving of it and receiving of it are the same. With an overwhelming sense of gratitude for the light within you, for your guide, and for the people you have just shared your wholeness with, you turn from the stone circle toward home. The light rises above you, and you think you can discern the form of an owl's wings stretching within the light, taking flight. Your heart lifts with this vision, and you find yourself feeling profoundly thankful for all that connects you to this light and determined to keep sharing it wherever you go. As you head home, now, finishing the journey, you think of one whose wholeness you would like to see. You think of one who needs you to see their wholeness and you determine to share it with them. Slowly, slowly coming back into the room and if your eyes have been closed, now opening them in gratitude.